Hey everyone, I'm hoping that you can give me just a couple of quick minutes to preview and promo the Brainstorming Leadership Meeting, the Serve Home 2020 Brainstorm Meeting, which is coming up two weeks from today. That's November 22nd, it's a Friday night, uh, it's at 7 p.m. at Trinity Baptist. Thank you, Mark, for hosting once again. Um, but some of you are coming into this process not knowing what Serve Home was the last two years. Uh, some of you were at our meeting we had, maybe was it a month ago or so, where we got together about one, two, three, about four churches represented to say, you know, do we see God doing something again next year for Serve Home? Uh, do we want to move forward? Do we feel freedom? Do we see a green light from God? And so I thought if I just took a couple minutes here, I could make sure we're all on the same page. So when we're at Trinity at 7 p.m., two weeks from today, November 22nd, that we can kind of hit the ground running. Um, because what we don't want to do is just assume because something great has happened in the past that if we just mimic that model, that we can kind of cookie cutter what the Holy Spirit does. The past two summers have been great outreaches in the city of Brockton. A lot of people enjoying being involved, a lot of things getting done, and God really getting a lot of glory. But if we think that we can just replicate what we've done, and that's what God wants to do, then we take Him and His will out of the equation. We're not willing to do that. So that was the meeting a month ago. A month ago, we got those four or five churches together and said, over these last two summers, this is what God's done. So for those who don't know that, the brief story is two summers ago, our church decided to try to do kind of like a foreign mission trip local, where instead of sending our teens and youth group and a few adults somewhere else in the country, as we have in the past, we gathered our kids and some adults, about 40 or 50 of us, and went to Brockton for a week. We let our teenagers sleep overnight at the church, so it was kind of an overnight away experience. We raised all the money ourselves through fundraising and through our own um, you know, registration fees for the supplies and we renovated two homes, kind of adopted two homes and it was just a great experience. That was two summers ago. Then some churches said, we'd like to be involved in that too. We heard what you do with Serve Home. Would you be interested in doing it again? And so we felt like, all right, well, that's God not just having us replicate a good experience. There's more people he's bringing into it. Let's do it again. So that was last summer, August of 2019. And we adopted three homes, as well as three or four community gardens in the city of Brockton. And instead of 50 people from all those 11 or so churches, 12 churches, whatever it was, one person from one church, you know, 30 people from another church, but all together it was like 100 people. And so those 100 people were able to do the more projects, raise more funds, get more done. Um, we had the teens stay overnight again, so they had that kind of go-away mission trip experience. Uh, and then we'd go to work sites each day, and then we'd come back, and we rented a shower trailer here out back behind the church, so we could take showers, have hangout time, and then went back to Trinity Baptist for an evening meal. So, you know, all these hundred people scattered on different sites, then showers, then back for the evening for a meal together, and then evening programming. We had great speaker, thank you Josh, we had great music, thank you musicians, and uh, testimonies and games and kind of a fun thing. So we did that for a week. It was five days and then we had a celebration on the Saturday. But this past year was another step forward, God doing something different and expanding his original seed that he planted two years ago. And so we've talked with yet more churches that have said, well, if you do it again, let us know. We might want to be involved. And that excites us to think that God might have something even greater for it. But we're recognizing that there is a leadership bottleneck a little bit because it's been a very small core team of leaders from New Hope that two years ago just led our 50 people. And then this past year led a group that became 100. And we realized we're not going to be able to do it again in that way. It's just too many leaders, too few leaders wearing too many hats. And if God makes it grow again, praise God, then we wouldn't have the capacity leadership-wise to sustain it. And so what we're looking for two weeks from today, that brainstorming meeting, is church leaders from other churches to say, I'm willing to commit to be in charge of the meals each night. I'll get the volunteers, we'll prepare it, give us the numbers and the budget, and we'll make it happen so that just the small number of leaders here isn't doing that. Um, someone to coordinate the overnights for the teens that'll stay, the renting of the shower trailer. Some of these things we already have contacts for, but we need someone to organize it. Someone to stay, or chaperones, to stay overnight and supervise the teens, maybe organize a couple of games, uh, to coordinate a breakfast. Um, teens pack their own lunch, so peanut butter and jelly and apples and all the chips, those kind of things. We need people to help organize that facet of it. There's music each night. There are speakers each night. Uh, there's the financial part of it. When people make their registration fees, when fundraising comes in, we need people to help manage the money. 
So we do have some leaders here that are still interested in being involved. We recognize that our capacity has reached its max. And so that's really one of the big questions at this meeting two weeks from now. Are there enough leaders from other churches that are willing to commit to be in that leadership team to make it happen? Because then that expands our capacity and allows us to take on possibly more projects, possibly more people, and maybe not. Only God knows exactly what his plans are for it, but we know we can't quite green light its potential without a committed core group of leaders. So if you are in that category of someone that would like to be a part of this, if you are someone that's willing to be a leader, a site leader, if you're a skilled contractor, if you're a pastor, <clears throat> if you're a youth leader and be willing to do the overnights, if you're willing to help out with food or with music, with speaking, all sorts of logistical things, registration forms, Cori forms, there's all these things that need to be processed to make sure that we're organized to be able to pull off a, a great week again. Um, we're very open to the possibility and we're waiting to see who God can bring around us to form that leadership team. So please consider yourself personally invited. If there's someone in your friend circle, in your small group, in your church, in your ministry team, on your board of elders, wherever, uh, that you recognize might be a good fit for some of these positions or just want to learn more, please invite them as well or at least come yourself and then bring back the information for them so that we can see what God will do. So hopefully see you in two weeks, November 22nd, 7 p.m. at Trinity Baptist. And uh, God bless you, and we'll see what he does next year, summer of 2020.